Well, everybody, I'm out here in my shop uh, getting ready to do another glass. I promised uh, the people over on the unofficial um, website for X Tools uh, that I would put up a uh, little uh, notification of what I was doing on this particular um, uh, glass set of glasses. Um, these are, uh, I got these at Target. Uh, they are stemless wine glasses. Um, <clears throat> I am using uh, a laser box basic on this uh, with the rotary uh, RE2. Uh, my settings are 80% power. Um, I did one at 70% power. I want to see if I can get a little bit more of a crystal look to the glass, but 80% power and 45 millimeter speed. Um, and I'll show you how I do it here. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on this. This is what I'm getting ready to do. Now you see that I took my center point from the upper left-hand corner to the center of this, because I wanna make sure that it centers where I want it to. And I'm gonna say it starts off at where the laser is. I've already done one with this setting and it actually worked just perfect. Don't forget to set the circumference of your glass in here, or, or at least the diameter. And you want to try to estimate um, the diameter or the circumference. But if you just put in the circumference, just take your tape and run it around the outside of the largest portion of the glass, and that'll give you your circumference. All right? So I did that, and then I set my height adjustment on it. I made sure that I hit rotary, and I've already done a framing on it, but I'm gonna do a framing on it again, just so that you can see what it does. You can see how it's set up on here. I got the black tempura paint on the glass, the x tool set up. This is a little bit, my glass is a little bit dirty. I think I need to get in here for a little framing on the top. I was doing some acrylic earlier, so it's not exact. So this is, this is where we're at on this. Don't forget to wear your safety glasses. This says it's gonna take about 22 minutes. I did not change anything from text, so it takes a little bit longer to do that than it would um, doing the, uh, if it was an image. But uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna frame it one more time so that you can see what it does. All right, you can see it comes right back across here and it's within my area that I actually put the paint on. So I'm gonna start this up. We'll see it for just a second and then I'm going to cut back to the um, finished product when it's done. But this is how it starts out right here and it'll actually do the, on this piece right here, it'll actually do the B first. And you can see that it was dead center. It'll do the B first and then it'll go ahead and do the 2022. And it's funny because it does the first two, then the back two twos, and then the zero. It makes no sense on why it does it that way, but that's the way this does it. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so here's the final results. Um, and I'm going to take a picture of this so that you can see what this looks like. Got it on here, 2022, and I'll take this off there, and I'm going to take off the, the paint, and it just washes off, and I'll show you the, what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, and so here's the final glass, so that you can see what it looks like after I've removed all the tempera plant paint. Uh, comes out pretty good. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention: I am using a D120 watt laser, not the Pro. I'm using a standard D1, and I bought the upgrade to the 20 watt head, and that actually does it a lot better. It really turned out great. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of you guys and gals.